Yeah. <laughs> to the end of the but day. it is what it is. Don't you don't I don't go to the opera and expect to hear Metallica. <laughs> Why would I go watch WWE and expect to get wrestling gear to entertain a 30-year-old man? Exactly. Simple as that. Exactly. Yeah. All righty, John. Well, now we'll let you get to your uh, your your topic for today. Okay, this is liable to offend. So if you're, public, if you're politically, if you're one of those people who only see one side of politics and don't mind if the, the elephant lies to you but won't let the donkey – or vice versa. This might be a little bit too upsetting for you. But this last week in the news, Kevin and I are both veterans of the armed forces. I'm still currently serving. Kevin is a uh, is a past veteran. Yep. Bo Bergdahl. Okay. The army announced Bo Bergdahl was going to be charged for desertion. Not now, con- controversially, last year, President Barack Obama released five high-ranking Taliban. Uh, generals mm-hmm. in exchange for Bo Bergdahl. Sparking, of course, a lot of controversy on both sides. The kid was a deserter. Some people say he was a hero. Yeah. Other people were up in arms about the trade with the terrorists. Regardless of that, in honor of Bo Bergdahl being in the news, Kevin and I are going to do a topic I have titled Worse Than Bo Bergdahl. <laughs> where we are going to uh, Pick a time when a player's A deserted the team or a trade has been made that ended up being worse than the Boberg doll trade. <laughs> this should be interesting. All right. So you want me to go first? Go ahead and go first. I'll go first with I'll go the Seattle C- uh, Supersonics traded the fifth pick in the draft and Scottie Pippen to the Chicago Bulls in exchange for the eighth pick in the draft and Olden Polonese. Okay, very, very good start to the bad trades. <laughs> I'm going to go with 1999, the Indianapolis Colts trade Marshall Falk <laughs> to the St. Louis Rams <laughs> for draft picks. For second and a fifth round pick. Uh, that that's hilarious. I'll go with another one. The owner of the Long Island Nets sold Jockner J to Philadelphia for three million dollars. Jeez. All right, I got another one. Ninety-nine draft. Mike Ditka and the New Orleans Saints give up everything for Ricky Williams. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here's a good one. The Baltimore Colts traded John Elway to the Denver Broncos for Mark Herman, Herman, Chris Hinton, and a first-round draft pick. Yeah, well, Elway didn't want to play there. Just like Bordal didn't want to be in the Army, so I guess it's kind of an even trade. There you go. Zing! All right. <laughs> another, another bad trade. Another, another bad trade. Jimmy Johnson. Receives nine draft picks from the Minnesota Vikings in exchange for Herschel Walker. Oh, my God. Those nine draft picks pretty much essentially were the Dallas Cowboys. Let, Dallas. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's, go, let's go. Troy Aikman. No, uh, Aikman was already there. Well, the talking, it, Aikman, Irvin, and Emmitt were already there. You're talking like oh, no, the, Emmitt the wasn't there. Line. Aikman and Irvin were already there. Yeah, Emmitt was the, Emmitt was the first big pick. Emmitt, there. Russell, Maryland. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can go all day. He built the team off yeah. that trade. Yeah. Uh, desertion, I'm going to go with uh, Shaquille O'Neal leaving the Orlando Magic to go to uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. All right, one more bad trade for me. And I hope Cortez is listening. The Orlando Magic, give the Detroit Pistons their NBA title. <laughs> for yep. Chucky Atkins, Ben Wallace, and Chauncey Billups were involved in that trade. <laughs> Kobe Bryant to the Lakers for Vladi Divac. Oh, uh, that's good. Desertion. This desertion hits on two levels because it affected two major fan bases. 1984 and 1995. And ironically enough, they both involved the same city. 
1984, the Baltimore Colts oh. moved out of Indianapolis. Yes. Or moved out of Indianapolis. 1995, the Cleveland Browns moved to Baltimore, Maryland. Yep. Yep. Desertion. Here by far is is my 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 one that I, I still the Boston Red Sox traded Babe Ruth for a hundred thousand dollars and a three hundred thousand dollar loan to finance the musical No No Natty. Wow, that's a tough one to beat. You were way back for that. Yes. Alright, so let's talk about bad trades and desertions. Another desertion. Nineteen ninety five. Cedric Sabalos skips out on the LA Lakers to go jet ski. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> what was his name? What was his name? Robinson from the uh, the Falcons. Desert- oh, yeah, Eugene Robinson deserted his team to go be with a hooker the night before the Super Bowl after receiving the Man of the Year award from the NFL. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I forgot about that. No desertion NBA style. The Seattle Supersonics are moved to Oklahoma City. Oh, such a bad. Oh, that I I, I still feel for those guys in 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 Seattle it, up there. A bad one that hits hits home for me. The Jaguars traded away three picks to move up in the draft to draft Blaine Gabbert. Oh jeez. It's terrible. All right, here's a here's a desertion. Bo Jackson, drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, nineteen eighty six. Didn't he refuses to play for him? Yeah, that that's that was a bad one. Yeah, there there there's a lot of them though. I, I still think Babe Ruth's going for a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> And three hundred three. The best part was the three hundred thousand dollars to finance a musical in Boston. That was still that's still horrible. You yeah, got any more? Bad. You got any more? No, I'm good, dude. Yeah, I, I, for two hours. Yeah, I flacked out, and we're at uh, almost an hour and forty minutes. So, <laughs> I think we're going to be calling this one a uh, a do. We're going to be calling this one tonight. We actually talk longer now than we ever have with Cortez being on the show. So Yes, we have. Yeah, so you guys, <laughs> as you can see, we do not need Cortez. No, I'm just kidding, Cortez. But uh, Yeah, because when Kevin tries to edit this, it's going to suck. So we, do, we need you, Cortez. No, all I have to do is hit stop and push a button, and it's good to go. So I'm, I'm good with that part. Oh, yeah, no music. Yes, no music whatsoever. We don't have to put nothing on the end. So, Cortez is going to edit himself into it. Yeah, he'll be, at the, he'll be at the end of it. So, since I didn't get to talk, half of it was WrestleMania, Cortez, so you don't you, you wouldn't even be involved in it at, at all that He's going to charge us for bandwidth. Yeah, yeah. He's going to charge Yeah, Actually, it's my internet, so he don't have to charge him at all. Nice. <laughs> but uh, you can follow us at The Balls in Our Court on Twitter. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Uh, give us a like. Just type in at Balls in Our Court. Uh, on your search browser will pop right up. You can follow me on Twitter at KevinC2415. John, you can follow him on the Facebook page. Yep, I'm not going to plug it anymore. You know where to find me. Yep, you can find him on the Facebook page along with me and Cortez Paul. At Cortez, if you want to follow him on Twitter, it's at the mind of CP. And on Facebook, you can find him all the regular places. Uh, you can follow the show, listen to us anywhere. Basically, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, uh, Podomatic is where most of our downloads come from. I uh, thank all y'all for listening, and uh, y'all have a good weekend. Enjoy, uh, enjoy college basketball. If you like wrestling, enjoy WrestleMania this weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. See y'all later. Yep, next week it is. So yeah. long. Bye-bye.